my name is Anoriel and welcome to my channel. Here we do reactions, mostly on BL and GL content and mostly from Asian countries. <sighs> By my smile and how I did this intro, you know what's coming and you've seen the title. KP Kin Pores Episode 13 Reaction. For you who don't know me, this is absolutely not my favorite show. If you want to know why, yeah, I'm sorry, I, it's a long list. Go down and watch all the other 12 reactions I have made. Um, if you can't take me criticizing this series, if you think this is the best that has happened ever, maybe this is not going to be the reaction for you. Maybe you should try and find someone else. I'd love to have you here, but you know. Yeah, this is not going to be the reaction for you. And if you're watching this on YouTube, this will be a masked reaction because trouble in paradise. I don't know. I've been over this a million times as well. Um, I will still follow all the guidelines. Uh, so it will also just be the highlighted version. If you want to see the full version, you have to go to my Patreon. And yes, it's behind the paywall. Um, that is because Patreon whatever you might believe is not free like YouTube. It costs money to be on Patreon. Well, it doesn't cost money, but video hosting site is not free on Patreon. You have to provide your own video hosting site. And I rent my space in on Vimo and that costs money. It's not free. And because I'm Swedish, I have to pay like 25% tax on that as well. So, you know, definitely not free. Um, so that's why it's behind the paywall, because as I said in my channel update, I can't get this channel to be YouTube partner because guidelines. I don't know how other reactors have done it, but yeah, they don't allow reactant channels to be partners according to their guidelines. So I can't earn money on YouTube. Um, and video hosting cost money. So that's why it's behind a paywall. Because it was a while since I told you this. So, so I felt like we needed to repeat that information because people miss it and ask me why. Uh, but yeah, my full unedited unmasked reaction will be there if you want to see me roll my eyes for an hour or two. Uh, what else do we need to clear before we get into what happened last episode? I think that was it. Coolish. Um, so yeah, last episode. That was a mess. I don't know what happened. Like, Porsche doesn't trust Kin, so he listened into some. He thought he was cheating on him, which, like, you know, if you are that insecure in a relationship, trust issues, like, in that, that you have to, like, have a mic on your boyfriend so you can listen in to all the conversation he has when he's not around. I, I don't want to say because I know people will be like, but do you really love him? Do you really think he loves you? Do you like, why are you even together if you have that level of trust issues? But yeah, okay, that's the first thing. The second thing, of course, Kin has molipidated him again, because that's all he does. Does he love him? Like, he has raped him. He has manipulated him. He has, you know... <sighs> he doesn't trust him either. Why are you together? Where is the love story here, people? Where is the love story? And yeah, um... So Porsche was really mad at him and uh, I don't know, he felt like I am not your boyfriend, I am just your sorority or whatever because he was back into bodyguard uniform. Then he had this falling out with the dad and the dad's, yeah, and then they moved out from the house but we never got to see why or how or what, but Apparently they were in Porsche's house and Porsche's was under the impression that they had left the mafia. 
you do not simply just walk out from the mafia and leave that house especially not when you are the next in line to be the head of the mafia which he actually says in the end that i am king i am the head of the family So if you walk out, who is going to take over? Because Kim has already left. And I don't think they will drag him in, uh, back in. Big Brother is crazy, so no one wants to, you know, leave him in charge. Which leaves Vegas or Vegas' dad. But we never saw that. I'm not going to dive into personal stories, something. You do not leave the mafia that way. You do not leave the mafia that way. No. <laughs> no. And apparently they didn't because like five hours later they were, he was still head of the family and they were I don't know if they were going to move back in or what happens, but yeah. That was just, I don't even know. We're, my only thought during that whole thing was that there was some mix up with like booking film location that day. So they had to shoot it at Porsche's house. So that's why they did that. Because there was like, it didn't make any sense. Nothing made sense. <laughs> Nothing in that entire thing made sense. You don't walk out on a mafia because your boyfriend has a bad day. <laughs> so my only reasoning why they did that entire thing was because someone mixed up filming locations or something. I don't know. And they had to like, oh shit, why are we here? <laughs> <laughs> that's the only thing that makes um, is gonna make yeah that's the only thing that makes sense in that regard um but yeah apparently there is this mystery with uh, Porsche's uh, family uh, how they died and who killed them and you know all of that stuff and Porsche got um a picture from Kim's Kim's dad that with who killed them and he was there to take revenge but he didn't because he saw he has a family and you know all of that stuff um and yeah at the end they were <clears throat> Kim was like um can we start over something, something, all the lies, all the manipulation, all of that? Can we leave that behind? I am kin, I am the head of the family, and the Porsche was like, I am Porsche, I am the one you love. And then they had like, I don't know, they sat and eat bugs, because reasons. And then I think the uncle came along when Kin was in the bathroom, and he told Porsche that, you know, your mom knew this family like look at this family picture where your mom is yeah so yeah that was that episode um oh yeah shay was having a teen revolt because everybody lies to him so he screwed up his uni entrance and he was partying and kim was there because and fought because he was about to do drugs yeah. Again. Oh yeah, Pete and Vegas. Sorry, how could I forget Pete and Vegas? Yeah, they they did stuff. I don't know. The amount of hype that they were hyping that up to. To be honest, in Sweden, I don't even think that scene would have been R-rated. I think it would have been like 15 plus rated. It was nothing. It was... Why was that so hyped up? Cotton rope? Pro tip. Don't use cotton rope if you don't want burn marks. Um, <clears throat> use other types of fiber rope. Um, but yeah. 
that was that was that um let's dive in and see where we're heading this time talk to you afterwards do you know how sexy you are mm. <laughs> confidence I like on the vibe I'm a person. Today, I'm just a hard job, and I'm just a hard job. I'm a hard job. I'm just a hard job. What do you think? I'm just a hard job. I'm just a hard job. I'm just a hard job. ทำไมจะบอกว่ากูเป็นคนดีว่างั้นเปล่ามึงเป็นคนโง่แน่ใจนะว่าโอเคแล้วอืม Yeah, so they're back. And he's back being a bodyguard because King didn't ask him to be his boyfriend when they were starting over. King asked him to be his bodyguard. ที่นอนอยู่แบบมึงใช่เหรอวะมอบตัวกับตระกูลหลักซะคุณกรเขาไม่ใช่คนใจร้ายแล้วที่ชีวิตกูเป็นแบบเนี้ยไม่ใช่
He's the one who actually has a head. He should be the head of the family. Even if he's a bit cuckoo, they would be much better off. <laughs> Finally, someone making a bit of sense. <laughs> you were too busy, you know. Being horny. How's it going? Can you do it, Vegas? ไม่เหลือเหลือที่อะไรแล้วไม่เหลือแม้กระทั่งความเป็นคนตอนนี้คุณรู้สึกตายค่าสุดๆไปไม่มีตัวตนไม่มีความรู้สึกไม่มีชีวิตอะไรอย่างนั้นพีทกูทับตัวเองไม่ไหวแล้วว่ะไปกันกูทับตัวเองไม่ไหวแล้วถ้าว
we know, but he doesn't. And as he said, everybody we sent into that house, none of them returned. And he has been gone for a few days at least. No. Oh, he has like wounds all over the place. Be, be nice to him, he's been tortured. Don't kill him, he's been tortured. Are you gonna tell them? Nope. I mean, it doesn't take a genius to see that you've been tortured. ไม่เป็นไรหรอกแล้วก็หาบุฟฟัตกลับมามานิดหน่อยสภาพก็เลยอยากได้เนี่ยกูไม่ตลกใครทําอะไรเนี่ยมึงแค่บอกกูมากู
You have doctors on call, maybe a therapist, you know? Do a mental health check. Is he still loyal and all of that? Just... Debriefing. Heard of that? Like, the first episode, they were very clear that they had 24-7 doctors on call. They showed this, like, very fancy sick bay thingy. Have we ever seen those doctors? Have we ever heard about them after that? No! Never! <laughs> just... Mm. There are so many things that it's just weird. Some one. Oh, some lovely feet. Man, me on ball, go. I go for that. I am. สองคนในรูปพ่อแม่กูตอนแรกผมก็สงสัยว่ามีเรื่องอะไรที่พี่ลองช่วยพอไม่ได้ด้วยหรอกตอนนี้ผมเก็ตแล้วดีใจนะพ
ยังคงให้โอกาสผมทําให้ผมกลับมาเชื่อใจใครสักคนได้อีกครั้งจริงๆเขาเคยถามผมว่าทำไมผมถึงทนใช้ชีวิตแบบนี้ได้จริงๆผมมีคำตอบแล้วครับขอแค่มีเขาอยู่ข้างๆจะอยู่ที่ไหนผมก็อยู่ได้ทั้งนั้นอ่าฮะเสียวอ่ะมึงไม่แอบพ่อแม่กูว่างเหรอไม่ว่าจะเกิดอะไรขึ้นผมจะไม่มีวันปล่อยมือลูกของพ่อกับแม่คนนี้เด็ดขาดผมสัญญาหมองไหกูก็รักมึงเหมือนกันอามีน most relationship when someone cheats it's not the fact that they cheat that's the problem the fact that there is a loss of trust there you can't really love someone if you don't trust them Not really. Okay, so it wasn't planned. So no, it wasn't the goodbye sex. It was just it became that, but it wasn't planned. So did she also move back to the house when they moved back? I'm so confused by the whole move to the house and back to the house and back to. คุณหนูจะรู้ได้ไงครับว่าไอ้พอสกับไอ้ปอแช่มันอยู่ที่ไหนฮะผมไม่รู้ทั้งนั้นน่ะคุณหนูจะดื้อสิครับเมื่อกี้พูดว่าใครนะไอ้พอสกับปอแช่ครับไม่รู้มันไปที่ไหนกันครับเอออกไปจากบ้านหายไปไหนก็ไม่รู้กูถามมาแล้วคินมันก็ไม่ยอมตอบนิ่งในสระกระเบื่ออยู่ได้แล้วมันเกิดเครียดอะไรขึ้นเนี่ยกูก็ไม่รู้ไงเป็นตายอะไรดีไงก็ไม่รู้อ่ะเกิดเรื่องอะไรกับมันก็ไม่รู้กูไปช่วยมันไปก็หนูหนูมาคุณไปก็กูไปช่วยมันไปก็หนูคุณไปคุณคิมครับคุณท่านเรียกผม Notice one thing they never say your father they always say the boss ใช่เหรอฝากคนที่ไว้ใจดูแลแล้วอือฮึเจ๊ยอกเหรออื
You don't have that many friends, you know. ไม่ต้องคิดมากพี่ลองเขาไม่ทำอะไรพอใช่หรอกเรามาที่นี่ทำไมนะคนที่เราอยากเจออยู่ที่นี่แล้วที่นี่นะใช่คุณหลักล่าตัวเขาเขาเลยต้องมากบดาดแต่มันทำให้ผมมั่นใจว่าอาชีพต้องรู้ความลับสำคัญอะไรแน่ๆแอเวอร์บอดี้จะกลับมาพิสูจน์พ่อมึงกับกูอะเคยมาบวชที่วันนี้ไม่คิดเลยว่าพอโตขึ้นมาจะต้องมาพึ่งที่นี่เขาเรื่องเลยอยากรู้ก็จ่ายมาก่อนดิเงินมาของไปไว้ Oh yeah, that was Uncle. I thought it was the cop, but okay, it was Uncle. Sorry. Wang. คือจริงๆอาก็ไม่ได้อยากจะทำแบบนี้นะพอดความจริงก็คือพ่อกับแม่ของพอดไม่ได้ถูกรถชนแต่เขาถูกยิงตายอาพูดอะไรวะผมอยู่รถคันนั้นพอดช็อกจนจำอะไรถ้าไม่ได้เลยด้วยซ้ำอาเป็นคนพูดเพื่อให้พอดเชื่อแบบนั้นมาตลอดไม่จริงอะคนขับรถชนพ่อแม่มีอยู่จริงผมไปบ้านเขามาคุณก้อนที่อยู่อาพูดอะไรวะมันก็แค่แพ้คนหนึ่งพอดมันอยากให้พอดเชื่อแบบนั้นไงอาบอกกี่ครั้งแล้วว่าไอ้ตะกูลนี่มันเฮี้ยแล้วทำไมเขต้องทำแบบนั้นวะอาพูดอะไรอ่ะ Because someone in the family shot them วันนั้นคนที่ยิงพ่อแม่ของพอดอาอาไปซ่อนแล้วหนีไปมึงยังมีหน้ามาบอกให้มีกูกลับไปตะกูนั้นดิเหรอความเฮี้ยของพวกมึงเนี่ยมันอยู่ในสายเลือดจริงๆป้าพอนพอน I don't think it was them who shot the uncle though, because they were too far away.
พ่อแม่กูไม่ได้โดนรถชนแต่โดนยิงตายแล้วคนที่ยิงก็คือมึงอย่าเข้าใจผิดเหรอทำไมถึงยังไม่พูดความจริงอยู่วะความจริงก็คือฉันจะทำแบบนี้ทำไมนี่ว่าน้ำพึ่งเป็นน้องสาวฉันโอเคสุดท้ายวันสคีปีเอพิโซดเจ็ดที่ Where is the love story people Where is the love story I don't even. I don't even know where to start on this. The biggest plot hole. How? How? How did poor she contact Vegas? He's on the high run from the main family. He's in hiding. It's not like he could just pick up the phone and call him. Cause you know. Bluetooth pinging the phone. If that was that easy, why didn't is it arm the computer genius? Who isn't the computer genius? We already established that before when he put in a USB drive in a computer on the main network. How did he not track that phone? If he. They have plot holes in these shows. It's driving me mad. Like there are so many inconsistencies. So, so they move back. Shay also moved back. He Porsche promised him he would never have to live in that house again, and now they move back. But before it was okay to leave him in the other house, but not. Why? Why? I did. <laughs> it's, I mean, it was bad before. It was bad before, but before, like, people were like. Before it was just, I don't know. I, I mean, there were plot holes, but they were a little bit more sub. Like, not that big. Now it's just. enormous holes in it like they stopped caring they totally stopped caring before it was like okay this is a plot hole but i guess let's just i mean okay like the time frame that this entire story has been two months so porsche has literally been raped well he's been kidnapped more or less forced to work for the mafia under threat Drugged, attempt. Uh, well, first he was drunk on the job and punished. Okay, then he was drugged and Vegas tried to rape him. Then King actually raped him. Then he was punished for the rape that wasn't his fault. Then he forgave his rapist fell in love with his rapist then he doesn't trust his rape in two months and we're supposed to believe that this is an epic love story where is the freaking love it's been two months two months i am not a therapist i am not a psychologist but if i were i would have like dollar signs in my head or something and we we like Maybe we should talk. This is gonna require a lot of hours. 
Like, I don't... <sighs> the amount of plot holes. The amount of plot holes. I can't... I just... Like, I can... I can excuse a lot of things. I can excuse, like, bad cinematography. I could even, to some extent, excuse Woody acting. If the plot makes sense and doesn't have a gazillion plot holes in it. But these are not even, like, holes. These are whole freaking craters. Like... Yes. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense any sense <sighs> and apparently we're getting the longest episode ever next time what this was like an hour long i think this was one of the longest we have had i think the first one and this one was the longest so if it's gonna be longer than this i <laughs> I don't want longer. I just want not magnet big holes in the story. I want it to make sense. <sighs> so yeah, but I'm guessing we might get a, like an hour and a half episode or something next time. Or I don't know. I give it up. But we only have one episode left, so I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I know there's, yeah, I know people, but. One thing, one thing, my opinion is apparently becoming the po popular opinion. People are so fed up with this show now that I hardly see any hardcore fans anymore. Everybody has just given up. I mean, welcome to my side. Glad you're finally here. I said it like in episode three or two that this is going to be a mess. <laughs> but I'm fine glad that people will have seen the light and people were like you're judging it too hard you have to wait a little bit and you're but it was just from the marketing from the very start when beyond cloud took over the marketing the constant press releases the constant scandals the constant everything about this show has told me that this is gonna be a shit show I'm just surprised it took people this long to realize it. But I'm glad you did. Thank you for coming to my side. Uh, but I will say this. Some of the actors are extremely good. Like, extremely good. I'm, there are some I'm not a super big fan of. Um, they're decent. But there are some of them are really good. Like... Jeff, he really shines in this. Like, he's insanely good in this. I always knew he was a good actor, but he's he's really good. Barcode, for him being that young and this being his first project, good job, good job. I think Apo, 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 I don't know. He's good, but his character is just so bad that it's hard to tell. But I think it's pretty good. Tong, I mean, this character is way out there. He's the only smart one. I I just don't like the over dramatic, the making fun of the femme character again. Like, I just find that whole trope that the ultra feminine male character is cuckoo and insane and not taking seriously and all of that <sighs> a bit you know because he's the only female code like really female coded character in this show because there are literally no females except well tom i guess one but other than that there are literally no females in this which I guess is fine, but you know, he's the only female, really female coded character, and he's. Yeah. And that's also like, okay. So I can't. I think he's a good actor. I mean, I've seen a lot of other projects, and I never think about his other characters when I watch him on the screen. So that is, that is like a good actor. 
I just don't like his character. Like, he's saying he's the only smart person in the room, but I just don't like that trope. That he's not taken... Yeah. I just... I can't get over that. It's one of my... That I have problems with. Um, so, yeah. I know people adore him, and I would probably do that as well, but I just can't get over the fact how they are portraying female male like female coded men in this with him that they are not taken seriously that they are cray cray that they are like it's so tropey i can't get over it um so yeah and yeah so we have some really strong actors and the actor who plays Vegas, he's like freaking brilliant. Um, but yeah, they are holding this show together with glue. Because there is nothing else good about it, to be honest. But all right, then that was episode 13. Tomorrow is episode 14 airing. I would probably not watch it tomorrow, but hopefully Sunday. So I could put this show behind me. We can leave this. I can't drink alcohol anymore. Otherwise, I would pop the very expensive champagne I have in my liquor cabinet and, you know, celebrate after we finish this. But I can't, so. But okay, that was it. Bye!